Uh, good day viewers, my name is Wayford and today this will be my first tutorial video on Fortran. So if you have if you are familiar with any programming language before I would advise you to work on Fortran. It is very very interesting. It's just like a stepping stone to all programming languages. So I'll be using a test editor <coughs> sorry called plateau it's by silver first so this is what i'll be using for my tutorial so let's get straight to business so to start the first to start a fortran program you need to come to file then new and probably you should have you should download this software just go to google and search for Search for Plateau IDE by Silver Silver Flust or something. So you come to the fixed format, then open. So you get it here. So this is where you start writing to start writing the code. So compared to all other programs, in virtual program you should always start. It always has a starting point called with program. Then whatever name you want to give your program, let's name it way forward and then it will have an end with end you can use end you can use end program it will still work or end program way forward anyone you desire so after that then the next line will be the data type declaration is either you're using integer integer this i declare it or you're using real or you're using character or you're using same there's something called boolean mm, no. so is that using any of these three so integers are all numbers maybe in all numbers like one two three whatever and real are numbers with decimal points number like 0 0.5 or 0 or 0 0.005 whatever so that is and characters are, are alphanumeric so it, they are always in a quotation mark then you write and write you can just write anything you want to write this is way forward tutorial so that's just how you use any of this so after you've declared the data type then you start with your program so there are two important keywords in fortran and that is the print the print asterisk comma the print is used to display an output why the read r e a d the read asterisk comma it is used to accept an input when you say read read when you say print a so that means you want the program to display to display a to display a then when you say read b read b that means you you want you you want the program to you want the program to accept something in b then you should know b is a variable name so that's that and print can print can also be used as write yeah if i'm not mistaken write then use it right but read is always read read is read so don't be confused about that so let's just start by writing a simple program let's start by using the integer let's say we want to write a program to add up two numbers so let's use the variable name let's use variable name vic and then we want to use another one let's use way and then sum so here we now write okay i read asterisk comma vic and read asterisk comma way then sum equals to fake and wait then you say print master comma sum 
so this simple program is just to accept just to accept two variable which is fake and way then the sum owes the summation of the two then the print is just to show the output so let's just run this let's build and run this okay we need to save it first let's write you two let's save it and then we run So we need to accept the first to input the first number which is 3 then the second number is 4 then 7 that's the summation of the two so if you actually want to make it more interesting then let's write something like print, print asterisk comma then double code enter the first Let me just copy this. I don't really like typing much. Don't you see? Enter the enter the second number. Here we now see. The total is this. So let's run this. So enter the first number that's five enter the second number that's three the total is eight so this is these are just the basic syntax of a fortune program we have the program name then the data type declaration then the print is to display an output the read is to accept and then end program so that's it about this okay let me just put you into something when if you will be subtracting use this if you are dividing this and then there's another thing there okay if it is multiplication use the asterisk sign sorry use the asterisk sign so that's it thank you for watching today's tutorials have a wonderful day